Hi, I'm Ajay Kumar Zha, currently working as a postdoc in the University of Alberta, and I'm advised by Professor Sara Nadi. Today, I'm going to talk about annotation practices in Android apps. Under this topic, we characterize annotation uses in Android apps. Annotations are a form of metadata used to associate additional information to program elements. We all are familiar with some of the key annotations, such as override, non-null, and test. So how do these annotations work behind the scene? First, annotation designer declares an annotation. An annotation declaration is similar to an interface declaration, except the keyword interface is preceded by add symbol. An annotation declaration also contains element declaration and some meta annotations. After declaring the annotation, annotation designer writes annotation processor and the Java reflection code. Then annotation user uses the declared annotation and then compiler or Java virtual machine checks the used annotation and then processes the used annotation by using annotation processor or Java reflection code. So Java annotations can be broadly classified into built-in annotations and custom annotations. Built-in annotations are declared by language or framework designers, whereas custom annotations are declared by users in their source code. A key method for improving any programming language feature is to understand its uses and adoption in practice. In this work, we wanted to understand annotation uses in Android apps because annotation is a prominent way to associate metadata. Also, there is no empirical studies on annotation uses in Android apps, but there are some empirical studies on Java annotation uses in general Java projects. Here, general Java projects means Java applications that are not Android apps. However, Annotation uses in general Java projects may not apply for Android apps because, for example, Android apps are generally smaller in size than general Java applications. And more importantly, Android framework declares several annotations that can be used only in Android apps. So in this work, we particularly investigated annotation uses in Android apps. So here we have two different goals. The first goal is to characterize annotation uses in Android apps. And the second goal is to characterize, is to compare them with general Java applications. To achieve the goal, we performed a quantitative and qualitative study of our 1000 open source Android apps. So we performed two different kinds of study. First, we performed a replication study of previously studied phenomena for which we used metrics from the previous work. Then additionally, we performed a study of new annotation uses characteristics, such as custom annotation uses. So to understand annotation uses in Android apps, we investigated three different research questions. First, we investigated what is the distribution of annotation uses in Android apps. Under this research topic, we investigated annotation distribution in Android apps and then compared them with general Java applications. Moreover, we calculated uh, annotation metric values for different annotation metrics, specifically for Android apps. Next, we investigated which annotations are used in Android apps. Under this research question, we investigated different types of annotations used in the Android apps and their adoption frequency. Finally, we investigated why do developers declare their own annotations. Under this research topic, we investigated the purpose of declaring and using custom annotations. So first, we investigated annotation distribution in Android apps. For this, we used 10 different annotation metrics from the previous work on Java annotations. For example, here we have two different uh, annotation metrics, number of annotations per app and number of annotations per line of code. For number of annotations per app, we found that it ranges from one to over 11,000 in the studied apps. And the median value is 86, which is much less than the median value 
1707 for Java projects. For number of annotations per line of code, we found that 94% files have 0 0.0 to 0 0.1 value. Here 0 0.1 indicates out of 10 line of code, one line uses the annotations. And the median value is 0 0.02, which is again much less than the median value 0 0.4 for Java projects. So in this similar way, we calculated values of 10 different annotation matrix. And we found that in general, the density of annotations in Android apps is less than that in Java projects. However, we also found some extreme usage of annotations. For example, we have an annotation named attributes in annotation. It calculates number of attributes used in an annotation. For example, here, SC conference uses two attributes. So the value of A matrix is two. In the studied apps, we found that annotations rarely use more than one attributes. However, there are some extreme uses of attributes. So we manually investigated 21 annotations that use more than five attributes. And we found two different annotations, report classes and model prefs use more than five attributes. For report classes, it declares 41 attributes among which only 16 are used in the studied apps. Whereas model prefs declare 21 different attributes and among which only 14 are used in the studied apps. So as you can see, a large number of attributes are not used in the studied apps, which suggests that these attributes are either not useful for developers or documentation is not clear about their uses. So we suggest that annotation designers may want to clean up these unused attributes or improve their documentation. Next, we investigated different types of annotations used in the studied apps. For this, we categorized the used annotations into four different categories, Java annotations, Android annotations, third-party library annotations, and custom annotations. In the studied apps, we found 845 unique annotations with around 400,000 annotation uses. And among these 845 unique annotations, only 88 annotations are used in more than 10 apps. Moreover, only 12 annotations are used in more than 100 apps. So we found that a very small number of annotations are frequently used in the studied apps. We further investigated annotation uses frequency by their types. And we found that 31 unique Java annotations are used in the studied apps, among which only 12 are used in more than 10 apps. We also found 91 unique Android annotations in the studied apps, and among which only 41 are used in the more than 10 apps. So from this result, you can see that less than half of the Java and Android annotations are used in more than 10 apps. So the adoption rate for most of the Java and Android framework annotations is very low in the studied apps. Finally, we investigated custom annotation uses in the studied apps, and we found 591 custom annotations are declared in the studied apps, among which 504 are used. So we identified the purpose of using these 504 custom annotations by using a quantitative and a qualitative approach. By using quantitative approach, we found that 454 custom annotations are used to customize Android or Java annotations. For example, 307 annotations customize int div or string div Android annotations to create a data type similar to enum. For the remaining 50 custom annotations, we found that these annotations are declared by developers for their specific need. By using qualitative approach, we identified the purpose of these 50 custom annotations as six different purposes, such as data persistence, testing, and validating fields. A key point to note here is that we found that annotations serving the same purpose repeatedly appear in different apps, which creates an opportunity for annotation designer to create new annotations catered to developers' specific need. 
So our research generates various findings that have several actionable implications for practitioners and researchers. For example, by looking at uh, annotation distribution matrix or several annotation matrix, annotation designers can improve design of new and existing annotations. Also by looking at adoption frequency of different annotations, they can clean up unused annotations or improve their documentation. The result is also helpful for annotation users. The results can serve as a source of information for annotations used in practice and how they are used, which can help them uh, in choosing relevant annotations. We also found that some of the frequently used annotations can be directly or indirectly inferred and recommended by the Android Studio. So tool builders can provide support for automatically inferring and recommending annotations to improve their uses. Finally, we found that annotation uses in Android apps is different than annotation uses in Java projects, although both are written in Java programming language. So for future studies on programming language features, researchers may want to distinguish mobile apps. To conclude, we characterized annotation uses in Android apps and then compare them with general Java projects. For this study, we investigated three different research questions, such as a distribution of annotations at various granularity level and different types of annotations used in the study apps and purpose of custom annotations. Our research generates various findings that have several actionable implications for practitioners and researchers. The artifacts used in this study are publicly available. Again, I'm Ajay Kumar Zha, and now I'll be happy to take your questions.